Susan, why did I know it was a game changer? Why? Technology. No, they're smart. I don't know a damn thing about technology. <laughs> no, here's why. There's a book called Blink, and I want you to use this in your presentations. A book called Blink by who? Malcolm. Malcolm Gladwell, right? And you know, he wrote the tipping point. He wrote Outliers. And he's very, and he says, if you've been doing something for a very long time, at the time that I met Glenn, I'd been in real estate for 30 years. I'd owned a couple franchises. I had been in this gig. It was my gig. And when I met Glenn and he says, Gene, we have this, I went, boom, game changer. Here's why. He didn't show it to me like this. But here's how conceptually I thought of it. Every single real estate company starts out with the international company, okay? And the international company, in fact, all of them, once they started doing something really good, they go, well, let's franchise that thing. So what do they do, right? It might be a local company, whatever. And the local company hires, what they do is they actually hire people and they, and they divide the company into what? Regions. Regions. I own Northern California and Hawaii. There were 32 regions in Keller Williams. They just split the, the thing up. Our job was to sell what? One of the first guys I met was Rick Jiha. Were you number two or number three? I think I was number three. Number three that I sold. I remember sitting down with you. Over, he doesn't remember. I remember the interview with Rick Jiha, right? Scott. Contempo, Contempo. You guys don't even know the whole stories with Contempo and Sendan and buying everybody, right? I've been in this for so long, I knew uh, that they all had international companies, they had our regions, then, then we sell franchises to the owners. Now the owners take all the risk. Yeah, I'll say. Mm -hmm. Right, Rick? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you went through, get to sign your name to a lease in Palo Alto? Rents and salaries. Baby. In Palo Alto, I signed a franchise with Keller Williams, true story, I had four agents. And the lease was $48,000 for seven years. $48,000 a month for seven years. Personally guaranteed. I did not tell Susan about that one. <laughs> for seven years. <laughs> and I was up and I went, honey, guess what? We're not on it anymore. <laughs> so here's the deal. True story. True story. Started off with four agents. And let that sink in. These people take all the risk. Right? And the owners hire who? A managers. Managers and staff to do what? Recruit. And they, and they, and down here's who? Us. Agent. Agent. How big's your box? <laughs> I, would, I, I, will, I will draw this out for Dave Linegar. I'll draw, draw it out for Gary Keller. I'll draw it for any other owner of anything. And I defy them to tell me that's not their model. They will say they're agent-centric. I have no idea what agent-centric means. <laughs> it just means they're making money off the top and you're not. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what agent-centric is. I have no idea what that means. Contempo guy, whoever that dude was, at Inman, he said the same thing. Oh, we're agent-centric. I said, well, that's cool. What in the heck does that mean? I don't know what agent-centric means. Does it, does centric? I, I have no freaking idea. Because here's the deal. Who gets money off the top? International. Okay. And the regions. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the owner's off the top in some of the models. They split that franchise fees and they take it out and who do they give it to? These guys. Now when I met Glenn and he says, Gene, we're going to take 20% of the money. It's an 80-20 split. We're going to take 20% of the money, 16000 and we're going to give part of that to the agents. My <laughs> I literally, he didn't know it. It hit a chord with me because my blink was a different model. Very generous. Paradigm shift. Instead of the owner making money off the top, yeah. the agent is going to be, and literally back then, we called it, we were the only agent owned brokerage. They made us stop saying that in some states because they said, well, the agents don't own the brokerage. I thought that was a bunch of bunk. They just didn't like the fact that we were calling our agents owners. Yeah. You know what? You're not centric anymore, Leo. 
You're not agent centric. Mm -mm. You're agent owned. Owner. You own this doggone thing. You own it. When he told me that the stock was 13 cents a share four and a half years ago, 13 cents a share. Yeah. I took out 100. I said, here, give me some. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, give me some stock. <laughs> but what I knew, what I knew, Mike, was the industry was changed forever. Because the brokerage model was different. See, you guys don't look at it from the brokerage point of view because most of you have never owned offices like Rick and I have. You've never signed your name to a lease. But when he said, gee, we are not going to sell franchises. I threw a party at home that night. Because <laughs> the word franchise, if you look it up in the dictionary, it says what? Limited opportunity. Ass, yeah. <laughs> limited opportunity. <laughs> franchise equals limited opportunity because you own this little piece of part of territory. You own this little part of LA. You own this little part. And that's all you can do. And you get your little chunk. Sorry. Because it's limited. The agents own this company. The agents drive this company. And since we drive it and own it, we get money off the top. Now, I got news for you. You can take a, 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 a car that... By the way, 17 and 24, and I took two numbers on Kino. I'm playing them tonight. We really do well with 17 and 24. I'm playing so, on everything. That everything. Happens. So when I was with you, I went, look at I just, if you leave this presentation, if you meet with people, don't try to get so detailed. Do you notice I don't talk about all the detailed stuff? Come on Thursday, and you'll know why. People don't buy detail. They don't. They buy emotion. Right? You guys watch the commercials on TV? Which ones do you send in money? When you're the crying. The puppies. <laughs> the dogs. You don't send money in when you go, oh, that made sense. That made sense. <laughs> can't wait to vote for that person. Can't wait to vote for that politician because they gave me the 12 point plan. <laughs> Whoever looked up the 12 point plans? Nobody. So here's the deal. I make it really simple with people. I said, look, I do it all the time on the phone. I can do it in five minutes. If you take anything away from this phone call, know that we are not comparing ourselves to anybody else because we did away with regions. <clears throat> we did away with owners. We did away with the staff. We took the agent, we brought him up on top, and we took the international company, and the international company just supports the agent. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, all of these savings, see, if you talk to owners, all of these savings, going to you. Yes. See, when they say we're not sustainable, I said, well, wait, 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 you guys got all the expenses. We don't have you. I, I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at your model going, a lot of payroll? <laughs> a lot of phone systems, a lot of copiers. Do you know we own none? When people go, where's your international office? I said, have you guys ever been to it in Bellingham? It's a strip center on the second floor is the address. I don't even want to go buy it. But when you go buy it, you go, I, now, I, now I want to take pictures of it because we don't have an international office. Okay? Who's the billionaires in their model? These people. Who's the billionaires in our model? Us. Done. The three things that we have that nobody else has. By the way, I don't talk about, don't compare. This is one thing you guys, I hear you guys a lot. Well, how do I compare? What's the good? Have it been good? I never compare. They go, well, how do you compare to Remax? I said, I don't know. I haven't worked for Remax since 1989. <laughs> I said, how do you compare to Kel Rez? I said, I don't know. I've been gone for four years and two months. I have no idea what they're doing. Well, they're doing AI. I said, that's cool. Good for them. <laughs> what else are they doing? They got this. Good for them. Good. I said, just so you know, we're Amazon and they're JCPenney's. <laughs> I'll tell you the other day, Robert, I got a new one. I just got a new one. If you're, if you're in the attraction game, you have to have new ones. When I say that, you have to relate what's happening. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, you know, I get a little, uh, Robert knows me. I mean, you, you attack Rick Jiha, I come down your throat. Yes. You attack my buddy, you attack David Golden. I'm, I'm tall, I grew up with four brothers. I got news for you. You want us on your side. Mm -hmm. We might not look big, but maybe we can, we won't give up. We'll lose the fight. <laughs> you, will be, you will be bloody, but you'll go, they're still going. <laughs> That's what we do, right? Big families, back. Yeah. So here's the thing. Sometimes I get, 
when they go, you know, I heard this about you, and I heard this about you, and I heard this about you, and they start doing all the negative stuff that's all wrong. I just let them go now, Leo, and here's what I do. I just let them go. I go, what else did you hear? They go, they do another one. I go, what else? Sure. I just let them do about four or five, and I go, you know what's funny? So can I ask you a question, Leo? When you go to buy a Tesla, do you go to the Ford dealership to get the information on how the Tesla runs? <laughs> Out. And they go, no, and I said, I think you're getting the information from the Ford dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you just sell five things that are so wrong, they're just so incorrect, I don't even want to address them. Can I show you how the Tesla runs? <laughs> and they go into my presentation. Ah, good. <laughs> What about this? Don't do it. Can you guys do that for me? Yes. 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 You can do it. So here's the thing. We have the cloud. That's the disruptive technology that has caused us to wipe all this stuff out. Okay? We have what else? Stock. Stocks. Which is what? Equity in your lives. Equity. Equity. How many people in here have worked in other companies for 10, 15, 20 years? How much stock do you have in those companies? Got news for you. Dave Leninger would have given that to me in 1986. I'd still be a Remax agent. Mm -hmm. He blew it. Gary Keller blew it. I was there 21 years. Why? You know what? Those companies, they don't want you to have ownership. And I love how they'd say, well, well, you're a NASDAQ company. You're a public traded company. I go, yes. And we all own common stock. If you own Coca-Cola stock, how much Pepsi do you drink? Here. <laughs> Do you even have it in the house? Do you slap your kid when you pick up a Pepsi? Because <laughs> here's the deal. You guys don't even know this was my hot button. Because I knew if agents owned it, we changed the industry. That's when I came back to Glenn. I said, so is it common shares? I researched everything. There's 220 million shares. At that time, there was 47 million shares outstanding. I researched it all because I went, is it real? And he goes, yes. It was 40 cents a share when I started. When they named me, when they named me uh, on April 24th, 2015, within two weeks, it went up to a buck 20. Glenn thought I was just, oh my God, it went from 40 cents to a buck 20. Do you understand? But I said, don't worry, Glenn, it'll go back down. And it did. Go back down. I had that little tiny blip. Uh, my kids said I was number one on Yahoo Financial for three days. I was trending. <laughs> okay. I had no idea that I had any pool in the industry. Seriously, I've been retired for a year. Here's the other thing that we have. What's the last thing that we have? Revenue. Okay. There's my outline. I do it every single time. When I'm on a Zoom call, when I'm on a Zoom call, I do it, I do it with my hands, you know, little puppets. Go ahead. There's an international companies up here, the unions are here. They sell franchise, I do it like this, and I go, look at, you know, that's a tops down model. That's a tops down model. I don't know how anybody in their right mind would want the left one. If you're an agent. If you're an owner, you might want the left one. Go see you make all the money off the top. Real simple. Don't try to confuse it, right? Don't try to confuse it. What you guys try to do is do too much. I hear you all the time. <gasps> Can't wait to talk about KB Core. <laughs> I got two more sales last month because of KB Core. And I never mentioned KB Core. <laughs> you know why? They don't care. Mm -hmm. You think they do, they don't. You have to create um, some type of why inside of them to move. Otherwise, they don't, right? So here's, here's how I'm doing RevShare now. I've been doing RevShare for four years. It's the most simple way. Abraham, I'll take you. I love Abraham, because he's, let's face it, he's Abraham. <laughs> and I started doing this about four months ago because I went, why am I not, why can't I get this point across? The bottom line is, Abraham, I said, can you do me a favor? Can you tell me what these numbers are? 
Now, if you've seen this before, Abraham, don't pretend like you don't know. And I write it down, and I do it. One-on-one is very important, because when you're one-on-one with people, it's very, you know, the back of the keno car. I didn't show it like this to you, right? I said, if you go to, this is how much money you have to save after taxes. When you go to a financial advisor, they are going to tell you when you have 900,000 in the bank, you can take 4% out a year. Do you guys know this? Have you been to one of those? You're not my age. <laughs> they said, we'll only allow you because you're gonna live 20 more years. You can only take 4% out a year or 36,000 a year or what? 3,000 a month. And I said, now, and I look right at him, I said, Abraham, can I ask you a question? You don't have to tell me how much. How long do you think it's going to take you to save 900000 after taxes? Wow. <laughs> I get them to answer. You know why? I haven't met a lot of agents with 900000 in the bank. It's a sad thing on our, our business because we're really good at two things. Spending all our money and not paying our taxes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we're like experts. <laughs> How do you not pay your taxes? Don't you real estate agent? Don't tell you. <laughs> they owe 10 years of non-taxes. Okay. <laughs> so I said, "How about if I show you Abraham a way that you could save $900,000 in a year with our company?" Would you like to see that? Yes. I said, "Here's what I want you to do. I want you to in one year on your first level, I want you to attract six cappers. Now these cappers, what they are, they'll be on an 80-20 split, like I told you. The most they'll pay in is $16,000, right? Out of that $16,000, guess how much we're gonna give you on each one of those every year, monthly, as they close, it's gonna be $2,800 per person, which is 16,800. I said, Abraham, do you notice why I used the number six? I could have used any number. But well, why don't you just get one person every two months? I'll help you. I'll show you. You're doing transactions. They're going to ask you who in the heck is EXP, right? And then I'll help you, and I'll show you how to send up videos and everything. So you get six cappers. You're making that. Your cap's free, okay? But here you go. Guess what? In real life, I know what's going to happen in that year. If you get six good cappers, right, and we get Susie, uh, or Diane, she's gonna wanna bring her friend. If she's coming from Cole Banker, guess what happens? I'm not going alone. She's bringing a buddy. Does this not happen a lot? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right. So I said, I am gonna be very conservative, but in a year, these six people will average one a person. Not six, like you, but one. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have six cappers on the second level. And I said, uh, Abraham, this is still you. You know, these people are gonna get 2,800 on these people, right? But guess how much money you get, guess. 32. I just get, I get them to guess. They never say 3,200. What do they say? Like a grand. 1,400, 1,400 is the number one answer. Half. 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 And I said, no, it's 3,200. So that's $19,200. And I said, this is when Glenn Sanford became a genius with me. Really, seriously, mm -hmm. I looked at the model and I went, because in the KW model, it went way down. It went from 50% to 10%. That's a lot less. Yeah. You know, this is more. And I went, why is that good? He goes, I want it to be the best teamwork effort we've ever done. Mm. Does that make sense there. to you guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We've only gone two levels. You've made 36000 a year, 3000 per month. It's as if you've saved 900000 in the bank. Abraham, you have two choices. Choice number one, save 900,000. Choice number two, I will help you attract six people. Quite honestly, I don't care if it happens in a year, two years, three years, four years. You know why? I'm here to change your life. I'm here to make sure you survive the next downturn. But would you say your, your son, your, your son, Abraham the second? Yes. Your son, Abraham the second, you wanted him to go to MIT someday? You didn't want to be the parent that couldn't afford to send him to MIT? Guess what? This will help you. And I always appeal to what their why is. Because I asked them what it was. 
just so you know, you have to get the why before you start this. Okay? Now, oh, 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 we got a third level. <laughs> Fifth level, six, I'm not even talking about those. I'm just talking about these right now. For 12 capping agents, I changed your life. It was $2,000 a month pay in Texas, in Oklahoma, in the mid, in the, what would what, you call them? The mid-state mid <laughs> What do you mid, call them? Mid-coast. Mid-coast. Mid mid-coast. Yeah, mid-coast. <laughs> How many miles of shoreline there are in Michigan? Yeah. <laughs> so, they're flyover states, right? Thank you, I've been in Texas all my life. So anyway, <laughs> here's what I'm gonna tell you. You guys, if you watch my video, you watch it closely. The reason that one I did two years ago works, because I say the same thing every time. I didn't do this for me and Susan, I did it for you. I don't even know who you are. I'm gonna change this industry. I'm tired of us going bankrupt. I'm tired of us not. And if you don't know that's why I'm doing this, if you don't know why Glenn's doing it, you don't know that why, why you know Jason Guessing's doing it. You haven't met them. Mm -hmm. They're doing this for you. Take advantage of it. Now, hey, nine hundred thousand, right? What's the next number I use? What is four and a half million? million? Thank you. So four and a half million. That's because I had a mental block there for a second. <laughs> At four percent is one hundred eighty thousand a year, or fifteen thousand per month, right? I said, now, could you live on 15,000 a month? And almost everybody says yes. yes. There's not one person I run into that goes, yeah, because once I, once I David Ramsey my life, and then <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I'm the opposite of David Ramsey. <laughs> I've never looked at a bill for 25 years. You know why? I look at income. Right. And if you guys start living my world, you won't care what your expenses are. I just took out a million dollar loan, interest only. Arm for five years, why? Interest only, are you kidding? The payment's 2,500 a month for a million bucks. I want that, I'm never paying that sucker off. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say that, the reason is I've got equity in it, right? But I think it's a falsehood that you guys are living the depression. You guys are living the depression. You're living your parents' lives and your grandparents' lives. That said, you better pay everything off. Yeah. I'm just telling you right now, live Gino's life. I literally have not looked at a bill since 1995. My wife writes all the bills, I have no stress. <laughs> That's, I do that. And the reason I don't have any stress is because I don't write the bills. Okay. <laughs> so here's, here's the thing. It's an option, it's an option. Save four and a half million. Abraham, if you save four and a half million, how long is it gonna take you? After taxes. Well, after I done it. Yeah. Right. yeah. right, most people, right? I said, watch this. This is my Nicole story, and I love using real people. And what I would do for you guys is I would use real people in the room. This is just my story. Because you know people in this room, like, you know, Rosie and David. I would use them. I would use them. I said, I said, Nicole, this true story four years ago. She was running a tanning salon in Texas. And I said, uh, don't worry about that one, that's a low number. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said, Nicole. Quit your $100,000 a year job. She, had a, she was a single mom. Wasn't a really good thing to say to your daughter. But I said, if you do this, if you work with me, and we can go get on your first level, right? How many? Six. 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 Yeah. Ten. Okay? You guys have seen mine. You need to watch the videos. I said, if you get ten on your first, let's do a three-year plan. Three this year, three next year, four the next year. She goes, I can do that. Mm. Are you kidding? 2,800 is what? 28,000. I said, now, Nicole, your job is not just to get 10 people in three years, but you're going to teach them how to get their 10, which gives you 100 on your second. Now, what happens in real life is you get a David Golden. He gets 40. Then you get Rosie, she gets 30. You know, you get another person that gets 20. And then you get another person 10, and the other six do what? Nothing. Nothing. Just so you know, that's okay. Let it sink in. It's all right to have people that just love our company and got stock and take 5% and get the 20% discount. Don't, don't poo-poo them, but what I'm saying is this is real life. And she goes, I can do that. So I said, your 100 times 3,200 
is $320,000. And I said, that's $348,000 a year. And, and she, of course, Nicole, you'll meet her this week. She's here. She said, well, well Dad, they, they all won't be cappers. Come on, let's be real. I said, so let's just assume they're all half cappers. Now, that's about $180,000 a year. Or 15000 a month. And she goes, okay, I can do that. By the way, we have a third level, a fourth level, a fifth level. I haven't even talked about those. And I said, now, son, Nicole, you have a, you have a choice. Save this. Or make that. Or attract 10 people and help them attract people. Mm -hmm. You talk to Nicole right now, you'll meet her this week. Uh, she's making about 20 grand a month. Her husband got to quit his job, come into real estate. I mean, it's changed their life forever. Does this make yes. sense? Yeah. yeah. You start making 20,000 a month, does it change your life? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, watch this. Somebody do this one. I didn't have a calculator. Do you have a calculator? Yes. Okay. 150 million. How long is it going to take you to save 150 million? Somebody take it times 4%. What is it? 60,000. 6 million. 6 million. 6 million. That's Six million. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pretty. <laughs> I said, now, now, if you could make six million a year, five hundred thousand a month, I said, wouldn't that be cool if you met somebody like that? Mm -hmm. Ow! Yeah! Yeah! In other words, the last two months, I'm averaging five hundred thousand a month. Now, if you would have told me that four years ago, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it to help you guys. I'm not. You don't know me. It's just like the golfers. You look at any athlete. They go, are you going to be worried about the 15 million in the golf you're going to win? He goes, I don't do that. I've been playing golf on and off. I want to win. You guys don't know me. You don't know Brandon. We are the most competitive people you've ever met in your life. You don't know it yet, but I grew up with four brothers, and I am very, very competitive, and I want to win for you. I want to just win for Glenn or the ESP. I really don't. I never thought I'd be making that. Ever. Right? It's only, I figured it out the other day, it's $15,000 a day. <laughs> no, but every day. But every day. So, so, so in other words, with Rob and I, and there's nobody worked harder than Rob and I, and we still work hard. You guys come and you watch me work. It ain't slowing down. This is not, this is not, I got news for you. you and that's what people don't understand about people that like to help people. Everybody goes, yeah, if you made that much money, God, I'm going away. You'll never see me again. I said, I got news for you, man. You're going to see me more. Right? Now, here's the thing. I'm worth $150 million. I don't have $150 million in the bank. That's the difference. Cash flow in life is everything. It just is. Right? Have you guys ever had a good paying job? You know, I've had some of my brothers have really good paying jobs. I'm not going to mention them because they're my brothers. And they made a lot more money than me. And they quit the job or they got retired. And guess what happened to cash flow? Broke. Yeah. And then they started playing Debbie Ramsey. <laughs> no, seriously. When, when your cash flow goes away, you start, oh, i got to pay everything off. I don't have any cash. I've never understood paying everything off. I've just never understood it. Because it's looking at the little tiny negative part of your life rather than the 